Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how to pin custom metadata columns to the filters pane of a SharePoint list or a document library. Now, let me first explain to you what I'm talking about. If you are a huge fan of metadata, just like me, I'm sure you have created document libraries with custom columns, just like you see here. And, you know, I'm sure you want to filter those uh, columns by a certain value uh, you see in the column field. Now, uh, there are a couple of ways for you to do so. Uh, you can either, you know, use this filter uh, option uh, in the header over here, or there's a second option. You can I actually call this Amazon.com style filtering, where you can filter all the, you know, choices uh, in this nice filter pane over here. And the beauty about this is that as you select the specific choices in the filters pane, uh, the uh, library view adjusts accordingly. So it's a very nice, very intuitive, very user-friendly option. Now, believe it or not, this filters pane is not something that happens automatically. So you kind of have to configure it so the, the, the columns that you create here end up in the filters pane on the right-hand side. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you uh, today. Now, I'm going to demonstrate this to you in the context of a SharePoint document library, but obviously we can also create the same experience with custom lists, uh, where you would create custom columns on a list as well. So in my case, I'm just going to choose the default document library that's part of the SharePoint site. Here we go. I'm going to create several custom columns. Um, so let's create a few columns uh, together, uh, shall we? So uh, I'm going, let's say we are storing some client documents. We need to um, organize them by client name, document type, expiration date, uh, stuff like that. So let me add a few choices here. Uh, I will create a column called uh, document type. Here we go. And, you know, let's just uh, call this invoice and purchase order all right here we go so column number one is created let's do another one that would be another choice field another drop down with a client client name all right here we go uh, let's create a few random client names perfect uh, let's create another one uh, maybe there is some due date or expiration date uh, that of course will be an expiration date here we go. That's fine. Maybe let's create another one just uh, because we're doing this demo. So that will be uh, author, right? Author. That would be the person field, the person type. Here we go. All right. I think this is uh, more than enough. All right. We created four custom columns. Uh, let's go ahead and add some documents. I will just add these three documents in here. Obviously, in your case, uh, you could end up with a, uh, um, a lot more choices. Here we go. And let me quickly go ahead and tag all of this, uh, all of this um, documents. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Just uh, tagging the um, the choices. All right. Here we go. Perfect. Uh, just to save some time, I'm going to uh, assign the same metadata. What I'm doing right now is a bulk edit, and which is really nice. You just select the files, and whatever you apply here in the Spain uh, will apply to both documents. Uh, obviously, this w probably would not be the case in real world, but um, because we're doing a demo, and I really don't want to bore you with um, you know me tagging the documents, I'm going to uh, just do it. All right. Perfect. So here we go. We ended up with all the documents that are tagged. Now, uh, let's talk about filtering. So obviously we still have this option where we can filter, right? That's always an option available to you. But we also want to filter using this um, filter pane on the right hand side. Let's click it. Here we go. Now, uh, if you noticed, if you noticed, um, it actually did create uh, it actually did create the uh, add the uh, columns to the right. 
um, uh, to the right of the, um, you know, to, to my uh, uh, right hand uh, uh, pane, filters pane. Um, and however, I just want to tell you, we got lucky today. We got lucky today um, because sometimes that's not the case. Sometimes, uh, you, you know, only a few columns are added if you have a lot of columns, but we got lucky today, pretty much all of them are here. Now, the only thing, if you notice, right, they're kind of in random order, um, right? Uh, maybe, you know what, I want uh, my, I want to filter by document type first. I want it to be on the top, or maybe I want to, uh, I, wa I want to um, filter by client name first. I want it to be on the top. How do I make this happen? So let me show you. So in case if the columns, if you click on the filters pane and the columns do not appear here, what you need to do is, and that's a great, um, you know, best practice to do in any case, you need to pin the columns to the filters pane. So let's pretend that some of those columns do not appear over here. Well, what you need to do is just literally do this on each and every column that you want to have on the right hand side. You click the drop down, column settings, pin to filter pane. And look at this. Look at this. Now you will end up with a small pin appearing next to the that particular um, uh, metadata column. You see? And you just repeat, you just repeat the same uh, for all the columns. And you will notice that as I do this, the order is changing as well. And the reason is because uh, the you know, the way these columns appear here uh, in the on the right hand side from uh, top to bottom are uh, in, in the same exact order as they appear here on the list from left to right. So you see my document type is, uh, you know, all the way on the left. So it appears first and then followed by client name and so on. So now when I pin this uh, column right here, my expiration date will show up over here. So let me do that. You see, and of course, uh, even though it appears here, uh, you need to pin that as well. And by the way, you can also do it here as well. Look at this. Here we go. You will essentially these columns now are stuck to the filters pane. All right. Now, likewise, you can also you can also remove the choices from the filters pane. You know what? Maybe uh, nobody ever used the slider. You know, over here, right? And we really don't want it to be part of our filters pane. Not a problem. You just um, you, you just remove it. Actually, not on pin, but remove it, and then it's uh, going to be gone. All right, and for whatever reason, it's not gone here. I think it's just a matter of me refreshing my screen. Uh, let's just double check. Yeah, here we go. You see, I, I unpinned it, and now we need to remove it, so it's gone. So sometimes you just need to refresh the screen. Now. If I, if for whatever reason you want to change the order again um, uh, in the in this filters pane, all you need to do is just change the order of these columns over here. So uh, let's say, for example, now I want to filter by uh, author first. Uh, you just move the columns, rearrange the columns, uh, and I mean sometimes actually, you know what? Let's do this just to uh, clean it up completely. Here we go. So. Um, I'm going to again uh, do you know filter it by. I want my author to be the first one. I rearrange it the way I want it. Uh, make sure to save the view, and then let's check it out on the filters pane. Yeah, sometimes I think you need you need to refresh the screen in order for the change to take effect. Let's see. Here we go. Look at this. My author column is the first on the list. Now uh, it pretty much honors the same order as appearing over here. All right. So. That's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you. Uh, you can use this trick, on, of course, on any document library or on any uh, on any SharePoint list where you create your custom metadata column. And it just, you know, in my opinion, this filter pane is a great way to improve usability and uh, findability uh, of uh, of your content within a SharePoint list or SharePoint document library. All right. So again, thank you very much for your attention today, and I hope to see you again on my uh, YouTube channel as well as my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.